We work and live in a village in rural Cambodia, not far from the Vietnamese border. But the beautiful countryside belies the truth about Cambodia's horrible past. Three decades ago, the dreaded Khmer Rouge took over all of Cambodia, but during their short three-year rule, they murdered or starved to death two million people, one-fourth of the population. Hundreds of mass graves are scattered about the country under fields like this. This spot near our house marks the mass grave where people from our village were killed. Yet one happy result of those hellish years has been an openness to Jesus our Lord, as some Cambodians search for something better. Before I knew God, I had so much suffering in my life. I felt like I was sinking in the middle of the ocean. But when I became a believer, God lifted me out of that ocean. I have great joy, joy greater than anything. Before, I didn't know God could help people. Now that I know, I've entered into a relationship with Him and I will never, never leave Him. When we first came to Cambodia, we worked largely with the severe physical needs. God opened many doors for us in this work, presenting Himself to the local people. Today, Cambodia's infrastructure is being rebuilt. While it would seem these positive improvements should bring much hope and healing, the tremendous emotional trauma Cambodia experienced during the Khmer Rouge years has largely never been directly addressed. We have increasingly felt God shifting us to teaching children and parents. A serious weakness in the church inhibiting healthy growth is a lack of understanding of how to love and train one's own children in a godly and biblical manner. Two years ago, we were granted permission to teach Christian character to children in one village. There are two lessons a week. In one lesson, we are taking them through the Bible. In the other lesson, we teach a specific godly character value. We have just accepted another 50 kids. A nearby village chief came to us and asked us to work in his village, too. Neither he nor his villagers are Christians. We are excited and grateful for this open door to the hearts of Cambodia's next generation. There are many Christian workers who sense that God is preparing something special for the Cambodian people. Pray that God will complete a great work in Cambodia.